Hello children, today in this video we are going to do our last chapter of the syllabus which is chapter 17 circles. So before starting this chapter, first of all few definitions and these definitions are there in your exercise also. Next children, what is a circle first of all? A circle is a set of point which move in a plane in such a way that its distance from the fixed point is always constant. Means this hole is a set of a point but when we are moving its distance from this point from the center will always remains the same. Its distance will not change. If its distance will not change then it means it is a circle. Next is center of a circle. Center is this point is a center and center is a point from where every part of a circle is same or of same distance. The center of a circle is a point which is equidistant from all the points on the circumference. Now circumference is this part, outer part of the circle, this one. So center is a point which is equidistant from the circumference of the circle. So this is the center. Next is radius. But before doing the radius, first of all do the diameter. Diameter, it is the longest chord or longest line segment, whatever you want to write. Longest chord passing through the center. The longest line which is passing through the center is called the diameter. And children of radius, half of the diameter, when I will cut this diameter into two halves, it is the radius. So half of the diameter is the radius. You can also write diameter is equal to 2 into radius or you can also write radius is equals to half of diameter or d by 2 also you can write d by 2. Next children circumference as I have told you earlier outer part of the circle or boundary of the circle. Chord any line which is touching the two ends of a circle a line which is touching the two ends of a circle is called chord but it should only touch the ends it should not be outside. Secant, a line which intersect means chord was the line which was inside only but secant is a line which is passing through the circle. Which is passing through the circle that line is known as a secant. Next is tangent. Tangent, a line which only touches the circle from outside. Touches the circle from outside it is called the tangent. Here AB is the tangent. Next children, arc of a circle. Arc of a circle means whenever we are just making any thing in the circle, whatever part is there, this is known as the arc of a circle. Minor arc and major arc, which is a smaller one, it is known as the minor arc and the greater one is known as the major arc. Next is semicircle, half of a circle is called a semicircle. This is the half of a circle which is known as a semicircle. Sector of a circle. Now, area bounded by two radius, children OB and OA both are the radius because they are the lines from the center to the circumference. So, both are the radius, whichever the area is bounded by two radius, it is known as the sector. So, smaller one will be known as the minor sector and greater one is known as the major sector. Segments, so area enclosed by a chord, children AB is the chord. If AB is the chord, then smaller part is known as the minor segment and a greater part is known as the major segment. So, area enclosed by the chord is known as the segment and area enclosed by the two radius is known as the sector. Interior and ex exterior of a circle. Interior means inside a circle, exterior means outside a circle. Next is concentric circles. Concentric circles means when from a same point, from a same center, we will draw many circles having different radius. Jinke alag alag radius hoenge, lekin different circles banayenge. That, that circles are known as the concentric circles. Now children come to the exercise. In this exercise, first question is define the following terms. First of all circle. So given to you on page number 243 that you can take. On this page first line you can take. A circle is a set of point which moves in a plane in such a way that its distance in a fixed point is always constant. 
so from a fixed point is always constant from here to here this is the definition of a circle next children chord chord for chord come to page number 244 chord a line segment inside a circle whose end points lie on the circle is called a chord this is the definition of a chord next is diameter so diameter in the definition you will write a diameter is the longest chord passing through the center again i am repeating a diameter is the longest chord passing through the center c h o r d chord last is segment for segment again on page number 245 a chord divides a circle into two parts these two parts are called segments so when a chord divides a circle it is called a segment next children what is the relation between diameter and a radius so here directly you can write that diameter is equals to 2 into radius so this is the relation that diameter is equal to 2 into radius fill in the blanks the diameter of a circle passes through diameter always passes through the center of the circle radius is equals to diameter divided by 2 diameter is the dash chord of a circle longest chord we have done in the definition center is a fixed point where inside the circle if the length of the radius is 5 if the length of the radius is 5 then the length of the diameter is how much obviously diameter is double the radius so 2 into 5 here in the bracket you can write 2 into 5 which is equals to 10 next children question number 4th 5th and 7th these we will do in the next video but for this you should have your compass scale and pencil so thank you children this whole you can do in your book only thank you children